Now we're going to pop on and uh, do the first floor. So you can see now we've moved from uh, the brick facade to the timber facade. And if I pull out my detail, this is the transition between the two, keeping the inside face uh, aligned. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Um, we're good as far as the breather membrane. Uh, we've got some battens and counter battens and the uh, tongued and grooved. Okay, uh, vertical cladding. We're going to do horizontal, I think. Uh, so it might be the other way around. This one might be in side and that one is on the outside. That's correct if it's going to be vertical. Let's just check that. Yeah, it is. It's horizontal. Okay. <coughs> All right. So uh, back into here. Let's choose this. Edit type. Duplicate. And this will be our window 5 at least. Something like that. Exterior into five. Okay, so I'd fill that one. Yeah, perfect. Now, um, so we can take these ones out, right? So this is going to be our first timber batten there, isn't that it? Yeah. Okay, so let's get down to wood wood timber stud layer sheeting i'm going to create a wood batten layer um i have it already perfect uh, right and i think that was in around uh, 38 okay i'm going to do the same here a wood batten layer Um, should we make this a different color? We'll, we'll, we'll just distinguish it a little bit, make it a little bit darker. Okay, we'll be putting in some back details, uh, 2D details into there as well. And that'll be 38. And then our finish up here is going to be our uh, horizontal. Now, so there's a few different ways we can do this. Um, I think I've got a, a material I created here called a wood laminate. If there's not, I'm going to create it for you, wood laminated. All right. Um, <coughs> so you can see I've got a horizontal line. Um, in the background, I'm going to put a bit of color in the background to this one. Uh, I'm just going to do it like that there for the moment. And I'll leave those black just for the moment and, see, and let's see how they turn out um, in the background here i'm going to use a solid fill and uh, that color again okay so that's wood laminate right and this will be uh, about 15 or so something like that right Okay, now I have to change that one back to its original timber frame external. Okay, yeah. now we're going to our first floor plan here. I'm going to change the scale to back to almost 50. Now I'm going to go wall, and this will be our. Timber five, isn't it? Yeah, timber frame five. So up to second level. We don't need any base offsets in this one. I'm gonna go from here. Substantially less than the other one, isn't it? All right. I might as well go the whole way around. Seeing as I've got it set up so i've got an underlay of the ground floor here which is in the uh, type in the properties over there i uh, should put in that underlay uh, 
and uh, very handy because I can snap directly to it. Right. Uh, let's try 3D. Oh, that really annoying. I was going the wrong way around. I should go anti clockwise. Right. Uh, do you know first floor plan? Uh, okay, I'll just uh, I'll do these ones and I'll align them. That is really, 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 really annoying. Okay, so you gotta watch out for these things. These are the kind of things that just take up. Uh, all that kind of time uh, on you. Right. Now it might just be quicker. Okay. In this case, um, just to redraw these. Now uh, I do hope you all appreciate the fact that I include my mistakes <laughs> just to let you know that we aren't all perfect right click and create similar and now finish face exterior that was where I went wrong finish face interior that's what I should have been doing Okay, so you just got to be on the ball all the time with Revit. Now, that's better. Okay. Now we've got that lip there and that's fine. We will come and we will detail that when we get to it using um, a powder coated aluminium clashing drip detail and high performance insulation per, to prevent any cold bridging and we'll also have a block there and an in insect mesh there but for the moment um, that's uh, that's pretty good and that's how that is looking all right Now um, I will select and go uh, create similar, go back into my first floor plan and these were the wall center lines weren't they, something like that. Escape once, back in here a center line. Again, I could probably just copy these across. There's only three of them, so. All right. Now, while we're at it, let's get into our internal walls here. And you can see, um, I'll go back into my wireframe. I could introduce the uh, I could introduce the PDF into into this one here um, just to, to, to do that sketch over um, the second floor plan here it is here okay so that's probably how I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to bring that uh, plan back in. I want to go to copy and paste it in. Copy. Um, first floor plan. Paste to the same place. Look at that. Fantastic. And that's just great. So let's uh, move that over. Uh, 
-hmm. Now that corner there. So what I'll do is, oh, sorry, select it, I'll move it on the corner there. It should be right on that corner there. Okay. Now let's just pick this and see if we can bring it. Look, I can bring it to the foreground of light. There we go. <coughs> now we're going to put our walls in. And this was our internal two, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, not that one. Still two. Again, all center line. So you can get these in fairly quick and then we will be escape ones, escape ones. We we'll line them up later. this one and I'll put it from the foreground back to the background okay now that's roughly how that one is working out and we just tidy up here okay get some dimensions in You got some uh, right now. What I'm going to do is I'll take that uh, PDF and I'll just move it. I actually should have moved it down. So my arrow key is just moving a little bit there. No. So we've got a, a 3581 here. Okay, that's good enough. Over here, do we have a dimension across there? We don't. We've got a 2881 uh, across on this one here. So let's do that. First of all, modify. So do this, align that. Okay. And Look, it's not going to be too far away, so uh, I'd be really happy with that. Two eight eight, and we are two six eight. Oh, okay. Uh, and that one is two eight eight two six eight, and that one is there. So this could. Oh yeah, do you know what? We might. We did a little bit of adjustment here. So if I wanted to get that back to 2.8, something like that, it actually needs to go forward a little bit. Uh, but 2.6 is good enough for a room, so I'm going to leave it there. Leave it there. Um, <coughs> let's get our doors in. And I'm just going to use the... I'm, I'm using this one. You notice that the 726 here, that is the actual door leaf rather than the structural op. Okay, that's why I'm using that particular door. Now, so 
So that one goes there, I presume. That one goes there. So we got one there too. Escape, escape, and I can flip those over and do what I need there. And then I uh, finally have this one before I put in the windows and things like that. Uh, let's get our rooms in. Uh, why is it shouting at me? Because I've got no nothing above it, I think. Volumes are uh, up above because there's nothing in there. Let's go into the section. Okay, let's just bring our. There we are. Something like that there. Now that's what I'm looking for there. Okay, I'm going to come to that detail later. And I think we are good for that one there.